What is up, Chubbs? What is happening, my Damien? What a time. <laughs> it is your girl, your favorite, Chubb, bet here. So, um, Bonnet is on because it's late night and I just washed my locks because I've been working out more often. And when hair itch, you gotta wash it. So you're gonna get this bonnet today, it's washed and dry and it's put away. So I didn't know I was gonna visit Miss Amberlynn this soon. So she had a video that she made a couple days ago and the video was called Change in Surgery Timeline, Going Back to School and Being Interviewed by You. So I cut. Okay, so the video is 19 minutes long. I guarantee you, you won't be seeing a bunch that whole 19, 20 minutes because I do cut. So if you see Joey Glass on or whatever side characters I got in my video, that means I didn't cut some stuff out. So we're gonna check that out. But if you wanna see her video in its entirety, I will leave the, the video link in the description box. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to click the icon at, uh, on my banner on my YouTube page and it'll go direct to my Instagram and you can leave me a DM there. So I'm not gonna hold you. So without further ado, let's get into. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So I was going to vlog today, but some things came up and then I realized I just have a lot of really talking to do. Oh, okay. um, I have updates and things like that and like a little segment that I wanted to start. I like, kinda like her earrings. I don't know. I just thought it could be fun. So the first thing I wanna do is I went onto my Instagram and I said, send me a question, send me a statement, send me something you want me to clarify. It could be anything, but send it to me in a voice memo and I will play it, but it has to be 30 seconds or short. So that can be a hit or miss because she does have supporters and everything, but there are people that are very nasty to her. You know what I'm saying? They could be very reckless and don't care. They say the most hurtful things, but like, I'm, I'm gonna let her finish. So she might say what I'm gonna say, but she might just, if she does get um, messages of people being vulgar and rude and disrespectful, she's not gonna put them in this video. She's gonna edit them clean out. She's not gonna do it, but the thing about it, why would you waste your time to even send people hate? Like, just don't watch that person. Okay, like, um, I just don't understand that. I don't understand it. Shorter, so I don't bore anyone, and so it's not, like, too long or anything. Um, so I have gotten quite a few messages, not gonna lie. I have not listened to any of them. Uh -oh. Um, I will not be showing usernames or anything like that. But I figured we could start with that because I'm kind of excited to do it. So I'm just gonna, like, choose a few and, like, just see what happens. Long time ago, I'm talking maybe, like, seven years ago mm. i used to do snapchat q a's where i would have you guys send me video form oh, um I'm like a question and i would like show you guys on camera and stuff so it kind of reminds me of that it's like old school in a way hey i'm Berlin, it's maggie so becky said you were a good singer why don't you sing malibu by miley cyrus for us and actually give it your best shot uh-oh ah! all right let's go Hey girl, I just saw your story post about um, sending you voice memos okay, instead of uh, written questions. So here's my question. Are there any Lego sets or Lego adjacent sets that oh, you have yeah, your eye on that you're looking Lego. forward to getting soon? Uh, also, love you. Okay, hope this is under 30 seconds. Okay, bye. <laughs> yes, it was under 30 seconds. So there are some Legos that I'm interested in. Mm. The one that I want, like really really bad is almost nine hundred dollars um it is a star wars lego i kind of separate you know the actual franchise what? with the lego because i just like the lego um i don't really know it's like a falcon moment i don't know a falcon I put it right moment. Here. this is what it looks oh. like i'm very interested in that lego and thank you so okay my thing is is that what do you do when you're done Cause you're not a child, so you're gonna leave them set up. Like, do you get something like to spray over it or spray it so it stay together? Do you put it on a dis in a display case? Because a, a lot of you know a, a lot of adults that I know they do buy the Lego um, set of certain things, and I know she's bought a few. And after that, what do you, do you display it somewhere? Do you put it in a protective case? Because I, I guarantee you, if somebody knock it over and it breaks into pieces, that'll piss you off. So I just wonder what she planned on doing with the the uh, the displays that she did put together. So much for the question. And also right? nine hundred dollars. So let's choose another one. So far, so good. Like I'm kind of nervous. Like what's gonna pop up? You know? Okay. I would think so. 
Hi, Amber. I was just wondering, um, how long were you and your girlfriend dating before you decided to move in together? Um, how long were we dating before we decided to move in together? I think it was like, oh my God, I'm so bad with timelines. It how was do like you like not a couple remember months, that? I would say. And thank you so much for the question. Wait, how this do is you not remember fun. that? Hey, Amber. Okay, so what is the one video in your entire YouTube career you absolutely regret posting? I'm super uh, curious because it's a lot of I have a lot of old Facebook, old Instagram photos. I a regret lot of posting moments, regular titles. posts, so quite curious. Um, thanks. Bye. Thank you so much for the question. And that is honestly totally relatable because I have a lot of Facebook posts from like when I was like young, like 20, 21, where I no longer think that way, feel that way, am that way. So I totally get that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think change. the biggest one that I regret, regret posting video wise is without a doubt, um, me sharing a past relationship that I was in. Mm. Um, I regret it more than like probably anything I have ever done on YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna do one more. Okay. This might have- Before she, okay, I, I know about the three. Now, is it any of the three? Like, cause I know about Destiny and Becky and Crystal. Is it, maybe, you know, I know a video will probably pop up in my recommendations about um, her other, if she had other relationships other than um, Wipey and um, the other three. But I wonder, cause I'm not deep into the, the Amberverse, what, um, Lordy as Jordy calls her. Um, but I I want to know, is it one of those three? Or is there, it's probably one I don't know about it, but it'll pop, probably pop into my recommendations sooner or later. I have to be like a segment that I keep because this is low key fun. So you guys have to let me know if you like it. Um, I do get a little nervous though, cause it's like, oh my God, what do they what you say? like? Okay. It's your video. video. Hi, so first of all, my English is not that great because I'm from Germany, but I wanted to ask if- Your, lingu your language, what is a language? Did she say <laughs> Your language, language actually English. sounds really good. Your mom supports you with your weightless uh, surgery journey and what she thinks about that. My mom does support me with my um, weight loss surgery journey. That's good. Um, she actually brought up weight loss surgery to me first. Um, and this was back when I was 18 years old. Oh, so wow. it's been 14 years. God, I'm old. I'm literally 32. So um, it's been a hot minute. But yes, she does support me. Um, she wants me to be happy and she wants me to be healthy. Obviously, like surgery is a scary thing so i know she does worry about that but she does want to see me it. succeed so that was honestly really fun i enjoyed that i could make a whole video i could probably sit here and do this she's hours. gonna so make a video like this is, dedicated to that when i talk about books come on now cut it out quit it come on knock it off okay so it is two books and there is a letter and it's from Jen, thank you so much. She sent me The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk, MD. Okay. Trauma is a fact of life is the first sentence in the back of this book. So I'm actually super excited to read this. And the other book she sent is Weight Loss, Surgery Does Not Treat Food Addiction by Connie Stapleton. So thank you so much for the books. All right. Mm. I guarantee you there was some type of message on the back of that book. Why didn't you read the, the the back panel of that book, honey? Because what people fail to realize is that weight loss surgery is a tool, not a treatment. And a lot of food addictions is mental. Like you put yourself in a mental place to overeat. So I wonder why she didn't read the back of the panel of that book. We'll see if she even read that book, so. You know what? I will look, listen to a book review and put it on if she reads that book. So let's, we'll see if she reads that book. So you would think that'd be the book she'll read now. And what I'm really excited to share with you guys is I have a massive weight loss surgery update. All right. So I had my dietitian appointment. Um, it was just a few days ago. I have one once a month for now. Um, and it's just to see how I'm doing, mm -hmm. talk to me about my progress, see if you stay um, on track. what more needs to be done, et cetera, et cetera. And this appointment, uh, I'm gonna be honest guys, I know you guys hate when I say this, but there is some things that are currently happening like within everything that I just, I don't feel comfortable talking about right now. So there is, pieces of my journey and my story missing that you guys are not hearing about, but I will tell you, I promise, I'm just not telling you yet. And the reason why I feel like I need to say that is because I don't want to feel like I'm lying to you guys. Okay, here's the thing. Um, 
she has a she has an issue of consistently proving herself to other people. And the th- and I understand it's because of her past that she do she does lie. Now, the thing about it is, if you got something that you want to keep private and you're not ready to tell anyone, don't say nothing at all. Don't say I got something to tell you, but I can't tell you right now. I tell you when it and tell you when it's time. I'm not comfortable with saying that. Just wait till you're comfortable. I mean, because when you say stuff like that, it's going to make your audience ir- irritated. Like, why even say anything? Like, why are you saying anything if you're not going to tell anything? If it's something you're not comfortable of talking about, just don't mention it. Don't mention it. Don't say, I'm going to tell you later and nothing like that because that at least leaves uh, the door open for speculation. You know what I'm saying? And they already speculate on you already. So I'm just a person that if I got something to say or tell someone, but I'm not ready to say it, I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to say, oh, I want to tell you something, but I, I can't tell you. I You'll hear about it when I'm ready to tell you. You won't hear no, no hints, no nothing until i'm ready to tell you that's just me uh that's just me is because i wanted to be so transparent in my whole journey with this but i just feel like there are certain parts that i want to keep private now because it's going to help me and that is my goal here is to help me and i want to improve i want to better myself whether that be physically or mentally and it should be both i shouldn't have to explain myself but i just wanted to let you guys know that there is parts of the story missing and I'm trying my hardest to be as transparent as I can and to let you guys know as much as I can, okay? So my dietitian said that everything I'm doing is exactly right so far mm-hmm. and that I'm doing really good and I'm making progress where I can. Mm-hmm. And something she said actually made me feel better and validated. And she said, the, the exact quote she said was, what we expect from you and from all patients is imperfection. We do not expect perfection because we know that you aren't just going to be perfect. You're going to have slip ups. You're going to have mistakes. And that just made me feel so validated because, you know, I was super honest with her because I've had major setbacks recently. I have had slip Mm -hmm. ups. And there was a moment where I felt like, you know, maybe I wasn't going to get weight loss surgery. And obviously that moment passed really quickly and it's not Mm -hmm. something I vocalized. But so, yes. The, the only person that put perfection on the situation is you. Weight loss, I mean, if you was perfect in every manner, we wouldn't be in this situation. And I'm saying this due to the fact, if um, this is the first time you're watching me, I did receive weight loss surgery in 2021. I'm down 90 pounds. So the thing about it is they're not looking for perfection, but they are looking for consistency. Okay, you're going to have slip ups, but the consistent part is basically in weight loss, losing weight. So that's the most part. But the thing about it, certain people kind of like her, they need validation to say, okay, this is okay. You're okay. Instead of, you know, telling yourself, I know I slipped up, but it's okay. She needs that second opinion to be like, it's okay to mess up. So now she's validated that it's okay to mess up and Yes, you're gonna mess up, otherwise you wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. But um, like I said, there's missing parts of the story that I will fill in for you guys in the future. Maybe there's no point right of now. missing um, it. So no it just, I don't know. It just made me feel like a big weight was off my shoulders because obviously, you know, I'm telling her like it is. Like I was like, you know what? I wasn't on track for a little bit and I'm back on track. And you know, she understands that. It's good to be honest. Like, we don't expect you to be it's- perfect. and. I don't know, just there's no perfection really in this validated so but the really good news honestly oh. in my opinion this is amazing news because as you guys know um i was told that i was gonna have to wait a year for yes. possible surgery and mm-hmm. that was kind of scary for me and my dietitian had the appointment with the surgeon and all that type of deal they've changed their minds okay and that oh god i got kind of emotional um, they have changed their minds because, mm-hmm. like I said, there is bigger things happening that I can't Her discuss. Her and hair. Keep saying that. I'm rolling like they was, they was still on it. it. So, the new goal is they want me to show progress three to four months from now. Just for three to four months. They just want to see progress. And I'm glad they came up, to the, came up with that decision because waiting a whole year is a long time. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so... Uh, it's a good thing they changed their minds and gave her a few months to show progress. Now, the progress is kind of a touch and go. Now, this is where she has to she has to put the work in because if she doesn't put the work in, next thing you know, it will be a year. 
okay it will be a year especially i i don't i don't well maybe she didn't meet well she didn't meet with the surgeon yet but um this is where you have to be consistent in in in, in their progress what they mean show progress that means you have to continuously lose weight not the same 10 5 10 pounds that you're that you used to losing you got to be consistent and then on top of that you're gonna you still have to meet up with the surgeon and he's gonna have his own set of stuff that you have to do and my appointment with the surgeon is coming up and that's just gonna be more um him telling me more like what he wants for me i'm hoping he'll give me some weight loss goals um and things like Uh that i'm just looking for more like obtainable touchable goals that once i reach them i can just like cross them off type of thing so three to so okay so this is the test for you pookie pop um when you see that surgeon he's going to give you a goal he's definitely going to give you a goal within a couple of months and he's going to give you and i guarantee since it's a, with your size i guarantee you it's probably going to be between 25 and 50 pounds because of your size you're over 500 pounds 50 pounds in a couple of months gone but knowing that it's you you have to be consistent no no anything you, if you want this surgery you cannot cut corners or anything like that and that's what's worry about the whole situation with me with her is i think she's gonna crash diet i have a gut feeling she might crash diet to get this weight off really fast because they're not going to give her a little goal they're going to give her 25 to 50 pounds because of her size i was i had to lose 15 to 20 pounds my first couple of visits and i was three i was 320 you know what i'm saying so with her size they're going to give her 25 to 50 the surgeon is they they want you to they want you down as much as they can to lower the risk when they actually do the surgery and the fact and the prove the fact that you are able to stay consistent after your procedure so it's uh proven to yourself and for them to you know see the progress that you made like okay she's going to be consistent after surgery so that's the real test so but if she does not get to these goals that the surgeon will set for her it's going to be i see you next appointment I see you next appointment. You know what I'm saying? Because she's not in a dire need of where well, she's in the hospital laid out and bed bound. Hopefully not. But if she keeps going, if she goes to the appointments and the weight is not coming off and she has an excuse every time, it's going to be, I see you next appointment. I see you next appointment. The next thing you know, it's a year already. It's going to be a year or they're going to kick you off the program because a lot of doctors and, and, and they, they will not waste their time. They will not waste their time and waste your time because if you're not making the change they're not going to waste nobody's going to waste time with that four months is drastically different than a year so i feel very very happy about that and i know that i can show progress in that time because i hope so i know that i have strength in me i know i do and i know that i got this like i know that i do and i I know it's hard but it's like if i'm working towards a surgery that is going to change my life you know it has to start with me and it has started with me, you know, just these last few months has been so stressful. I'm not gonna lie. It has been so stressful and it's been confusing and it's been hard and it's just been, it's been a lot. Um, I could have done better. I could have done worse, you know? And now it's just like from Taking, this point on, all I can do is prove myself do and show progress and do the best that I can with what I have now. Obviously mm-hmm. I am going to learn more and hear more from the actual surgeon when you I go. Are. So we'll see what goes on with that. But yeah, I just was really excited to give you guys that update because it made me really happy to hear. Um, so yeah. So that's the end of that video. And um, I hope she does continue with progress. You know what I'm saying? Everybody makes mistakes and everything else, but this is no joke. Because when she see that surgeon, he's gonna give her a goal and she's gonna be a little taken back by that goal because it's gonna be 25 to 50 pounds within two months. It ain't no six, two months. And let's see if she's going to get that 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 poundage down. They may suggest her taking some additional medications um, to try to help her get it down. But I hope she does not crash diet because that might come on. But hopefully not. But we'll see. So that is the end of that video. If you have any suggestions for any other videos, feel free to send it to me. 
put it at the bottom of the screen. And if you stay to the end, thank you for coming around my way. Sada Tay.